Hi everybody, this is Flash001 USA, and in this video I want to cover an eBay special. Now what you're looking at is a Chinese-made MPPT solar charge controller they sell for around 99 bucks. Now others have done videos on this, and because I've got one of these I decided to go ahead and throw my hat into the ring and test this for myself and put the results that I find up on this video that you're looking at. Now the way we're going to do this is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the input voltage and input current feeding into this unit and we're, then we're going to follow up and measure the output voltage and the output current feeding into our deep cycle batteries that are down here that need charging. And what we have is two 6 volt deep cycle batteries in series so we've got a 12 volt system basically. And for the power source feeding this we're using a variable DC supply and we're going to run it between 20 to 25 volts to simulate solar panels. Now at the end of this video, we're going to do manual calculations on this to look at the efficiency and the losses. And one more thing also, they have a demo mode here on this thing when it's running. If you hit the button on demo mode, it supposedly calculates out the efficiency of this thing. So one good thing is, after we do this, we'll actually be able to hit the demo mode and compare it to the real world meter test right here. So on that note, let me take a moment and set up and we'll start making some measurements. So take a standby. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on this. Before we actually start, this thing's in the sleep mode right now. And um, I don't have the power turned on feeding into it, so technically it's inactive. But we'll take a look at everything before I start. Okay, take a standby while I actually crank this thing up and make some measurements. Okay, we're rocking and rolling. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the input voltage feeding in to this unit. So I'm just tagging where it is right here. And you can see we got... 21.7, 21, 22, just we'll round that off when it comes time to do the calculations. That's the voltage going in. Now let's look at the voltage going out. Okay, 12.1. Now the real giveaway with this will be the current. If this is a true MPPT solar charge controller, what you'll see guys is the input current going into the battery will be higher than what it is coming out of the power supply. That doesn't mean it's over unity. You're not getting anything for free. Basically it's taking the higher voltage and higher the lower current coming out of here and it's doing its job of stepping it down to a lower voltage that's usable for the batteries but giving you an amplification in the current. So it's kind of like a step down transformer. Something in that realm right there. So Let's go ahead and take a current measurement now. We're going to make input and output current measurements. So take a standby while I switch some wires around. Okay. Now what we're going to do right now is take the input current measurement from the power supply feeding into the controller and you'll have to trust me on this. That decimal point has to be moved around. So basically we've got 2.65, 2.67 amps going into this, okay? Now we're going to measure the output current feeding into the battery. Here I am, I'm clamped on. Of course this is feeding into the battery. Look at that almost four and a half amps going into it. So right there, right off the bat tells you that it's a true MPPT solar controller. That's a good sign right there. Okay, as I said at the end of the video, we'll do some calculations and see how this thing fares out to the what the computer is going to tell us in here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to hit the demo mode. All right, now we're taking a look at this and look at that. The current matches up pretty close to what was on the meter right there, so that's a good sign. We're going to hit the demo mode now. You guys ready? This is supposedly going to give us a true calculation of the efficiency we're running at. So it's running in demo mode. It says it's running an efficiency about 87%. And believe it or not, that's not too bad right there. By the way, the PWM with the 2.3 amps, that was our input right there. So I'm going to hit this one more time. Hit the demo. I'm trying to do this one-handed. There you go, guys. That's actually pretty darn close to what an MPPT should be. Normally, they run around 87, 90, something, somewhere in that percentage right there. So when we do the calculations, hopefully we'll see something that reflects that. Okay, let's go upstairs and make some calculations. Okay, I went back and reviewed the video, and I took all my measurements and did the power and efficiency calculations, and that's what we're looking at in front of us here. Now keep something else in mind that I did have to round off some of the numbers. If you remember watching the video, you seen the meters bouncing around a little bit. But I did try to keep everything close so we could kind of come up with some real world calculations. And what I'm going to do right now is read all this off to you. And hopefully it will make sense to you. 
Okay, for the input voltage from the power supply feeding to the input of the solar controller, we had a total of 21.7 volts with a current draw of 2.65 amps. Now this gave us a total system power of 57.5 watts, so keep that in mind. That's total power in the system. On the output side of the solar controller, feeding the batteries or charging the batteries, we had 12.1 volts coming out across the batteries. We had a higher current, we had 4.46 amps. So this gave us an output power of 53.96 watts. Now to come up with the efficiency of this, that's pretty simple. All you do is take your output power from the controller and you divide it into the input power being fed into it and you multiply that by 100. So in other words, we took 53.96 watts, we divide it into 57.5 watts, multiply it by 100, and you come up with an efficiency of 93.8%. Trust me, that's very good for a solar controller, very good. Okay, now, you know, you're going, okay, where's the rest of the 6 point whatever percent power? That's simple. That was being consumed by the controller itself because nothing is free. There are no free lunches. The way you come up with that, you take the total system power, which was 57.5 watts. You subtract that from the output power of the controller, which is 53.96 watts. You wind up with, ding, 3.54 watts being consumed by the actual electronics of the solar controller. So that's pretty simple. Now if you want to calculate it out the rest of the way and get just down and dirty with it, find out where that 6.2% of that power is floating around at, that's simple enough. Basically you take the power that's being consumed to run the solar controller, which in this case was what? 3.54 watts. You divide that into the total system power of 57.5 watts. You do the same thing. You multiply that by 100 you wind up with 6.15%, and actually, guys, I rounded that number off because there's a billion numbers past the decimal point. I didn't feel like dealing with it. If you add that back into the 93.8% efficiency, you wind up with a 99.995%, which is close enough for government work. In other words, that's 100% of your power accounted for. Now, here's the pretty, a pretty cool thing. The solar controller, it calculated an efficiency of 87%, so in my opinion, it was stingy. I trust the meters that I used on the outside of it more than I do the calculations that were happening internally with it. Regardless, guys, yes, this is a real deal MPPT solar controller. So to answer your question, it is the real deal. Now, I want to mention one more thing before I hang up the phone, and that is this thing is geared up for a 12-volt system. But to get this efficiency, you need to use 24 volt panels with it, okay? That's the highest maximum rating that you can put into it as far as the voltage. But in reality, if you hook a 24 volt panel to it, it'll probably be something like um, 30 something volts open voltage. So keep that in mind that when you hook it up, it'll load down a little bit, so you're not gonna burn anything up. But you can't put any more than 20 amps input on this thing. Keep that in mind also. But um, for a small controller, that's the real deal MPPT controller. It's not bad for what it is. I hope this helps some of you all out there. Be sure to tip your bartenders and waitresses, and we'll see you guys on the other side. Flash 001 USA, 10-4 over and out. Have a good evening, everybody. Bye-bye.